This is a common issue called stringing. I printed this print at 250 times speed versus what is normal 100%. So I increased it by 150%. So there is more stringing in this. So the bed cooled so everything can come off now. But just a lot of stringing. And because this is a jointed thing, I don't want this to have a lot of stringing. As you can see, every time I crack a joint, you hear stuff crack because that's just the filament cracking that keeps it all stuck together. The joints aren't breaking, it's just the filament itself. This head had a lot of it, and some joints are really hard to break because the filament sticks in here. So now, I'm just going to break every single joint back and forth just to see and it can go up and down so try to do that and then that gets rid of as much stringing yeah we keep seeing our hands yeah i'm just cracking as much as i can so there's some joints like back here that have a lot of stringing with all this that doesn't get cracked initially go up and down crack each joint so just a lot of just cutting this stuff off probably want to get like an allen key or a screwdriver it's gonna go through the middle and just poke something all the way down any of the holes that there should be spaces like that there should be you should be able to see the space as you can see the bed this hole so keep cracking all this there's a lot of filament right here so i'm gonna take a snipper unlock it and then like all this extra stuff that doesn't need to be here cut that away and i know this doesn't need to be here because if you compare it to all the other joints which should be very very similar especially in the body itself this one doesn't have anything so this printed well right here nothing there but this has stuff there so just gonna try to wiggle Snipper in there and just keep taking out as much of this filament as I can. The more filament you take out, the better it looks. And then also the better it kind of functions. So all these joints will move around freely now. But this does not look very good at all. You have so much string just everywhere. Right here, you just have a lot. So it doesn't look as good. It all works together like it's supposed to. Now it just flings freely. Do what this is. It's a jointed onyx from Pokemon. But, doesn't look as good, so anything that's non-visible, if it's not going to be on display, then it doesn't it directly matter, but still like to have a good looking print, even if it's for myself, just because it looks better that way. So, Onyx has a horn up here, so this is the most important area that has no string on it, but I'm going to put the body itself down, and the head has a lot. There's an up until this layer, it looks pretty clean. And then after here, you see all your individual layer lines. Try to see that all your individual layer lines. It doesn't look as good because that's where the printer went back and forth, but didn't do a lot of things on the body. It just did like one layer for a certain part of the body to keep snipping this. If and get as much of this hair off as I can. There's not hair, just extra filament. And once I can get all that off, you're never gonna be able to get all of it off unless you use the sander. So if you have like sandpaper, definitely recommend like doing that on these layers that don't print out as well, cause it does inevitably make the print look better. But other than that, if you're print looking okay so now that i have this part before i'm gonna glue it take the head and it fits right in there so you can either you if it's right in here and it kind of sticks in there a little bit or it did whenever it's hot so it's gonna look like that so you can either take a 3d pen something that's hot like if you take hot metal, you can burn 
or melt these two plastics together like using a soldering iron or you can use hot model glue which is what i'm gonna use because it's a lot easier to do so let's take some old-fashioned model glue put it in the hole try to layer it on the edges and then just spread it around on the inside this will get spread out because you're applying pressure you don't want to use too much also it smells really bad so now it's going to hold that in this is usually done better on a table and if you are doing it on your bed don't push too hard because you may end up not or making your bed unlevel by just the slightest amount and the slightest amount will cause malfunctions in your printer or your print and it won't look as good there's lots of ways i can fix stringing and that is something that I will be doing. So this was like a really good print because I saw all the string that I could have actually ever had because of how far the body versus the head was. The head was out here and the horn was out here. So it's a far distance. So I'm gonna edit my settings a little bit, level it again, and then not gonna print the same thing again, but I will print other prints. And if there is stringing, then I'll just keep adjusting it. That's what 3D printing is. It more is trial and error. Until you get your printer dialed in to perfection, you will never not have any issues. And even then, you're always gonna have something. It will never stay level for years ever. So it's just gonna sit here for a little bit. It's gonna cool down. You can blow if you put model glue on the sides right here. I didn't, but as you can see, I'm not pulling too much, but it sticks. Now, this is going to take a lot of time to get all this extra hair and stringing pretty much the final product. Once I'm done with all this extra filament, I will show, I'll show you guys the final result. So these are two onyxes. This one is the print in blue. This is an orange. This didn't get a finish because we ran out of filament and it was in the middle of the night and I didn't put any new one in. So what happens here is you have all the joints. This print has n pretty much no stringing at all. There's like nothing here. The bottom printed very smoothly. Very, very nice. You can see all these minuscule details. You just see like little details because Onyx is a rock. And then you see all the minuscule details in it. So I can just put this here and it works really well. And then this is a completed Onyx where everything is good, but I printed it faster. So there is a lot of stringing. I put the head on, but there's definitely going to need some sandpaper just to like smooth out all the extra stringing on top. But those are my two Onyx prints, and this one works better.